run off and you meet a 21-year-old with his own autonomous drone weapons manufacturing facility. But this is Ethan Thornton, and right now he is rethinking the future of warfare with China top of mind. It's not hard to look at China's dominance and realize that we need to be working very, very hard as a, as a country if we want to maintain relevance. And while China has been putting on quite the show of military might, when it comes to scale, Thornton imagines a very different alternative than the high-tech, sophisticated U.S. arsenal that we're all used to. One of your missions seems to be trying to imagine what warfare is going to look like, not in 10 years, but in 20 years. You're, you're 21, so that's, that's literally a, a, a lifetime for you, and, and yet not too far down the road. How do you see the future of warfare in 20 years? To me, what's most concerning is you can look at ultra-large-scale strike with very, very cheap assets. So if you can find a way to get very small, like, $400 to $1,000 drones by the millions above populated areas. But let me just try to visualize that. So millions of these very low-cost drones descending over a populated area. What you'll see it used for is taking out all of your cell phone towers, taking out all of your high-voltage power transformers, taking out your cranes and ports, like essentially just stopping your industrial machine. His company, Mock Industries, received a Pentagon development contract and has already raised hundreds of millions of dollars to think outside the military industrial box. And that means churning out as many cheap, deadly drones as possible, the kinds of systems that have transformed the modern battlefield in places like Ukraine. But before drones ruled the skies, Thornton remembers watching the opening moments of the invasion in high school and realizing warfare was about to change forever.